Catching rare bugs in New Horizons is a great way to earn some bells, especially if you're close to paying off one of your many mortgages. Yet as the word rare implies, these bugs can be very hard to catch. You need to be light of foot and swift of hand to catch many of these. You'll also want Lady Luck to be on your side, because due to their rarity, these bugs have a low appearance rate. The giraffe stag is actually a brand new bug that was introduced in New Horizons, a massive black beetle with long pincers. It's considered easily one of the rarest and most situational bugs in the game, as it can be found usually on palm trees only. The giraffe stag is usually found during summer seasons and at nighttime exclusively. Specifically, the giraffe stag can appear on islands in the northern hemisphere from July to August. Giraffe stags can appear at any time between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Once caught, it has one of the best selling prices in the game. Scarab beetles are truly stunning, with a silver exoskeleton and round shape. As if to put a point on their uniqueness, they can only be found in July and August in the Northern Hemisphere, or January and February in the Southern Hemisphere. It's no surprise, then, that these guys are some of the most valuable bugs in the game. Thankfully, while they don't spawn often, their silvery sheen gives them away once they do. The Goliath beetle is aptly named. This hulking beast is found only on palm trees, presumably because there's more space on the beach than the grass for their enormousness. It's a pretty uncommon find, only appearing in four months out of the year when it's warm. To catch a Goliath beetle, you need to spot it from far enough away, approach slowly, then hold down the A button to creep forward with your net. Keep holding A, then release when you're close enough to catch the Goliath beetle. The Goliath beetle sells for 8,000 bells. <laughs> Like their cousins, the horned elephant, horned Hercules beetles are really hard to come by and even harder to catch. They can be recognized by their black head and spotted yellow back. The horned Hercules beetle will only spawn between 5 at night and 8 in the morning. Due to the game always being based around the time of day it is in real life for the player, this may mean that players will need to set an alarm to go hunting. Where there's a will, there's a way, though, and plenty of players have nabbed this bug. Once you do too, you can say you beat a Hercules all by yourself. <laughs> Horned elephants are big bugs, so you'd think they were easily spotted. On the contrary, though, these guys won't appear often, only show up two months out of the year, and are liable to fly away when startled. The most devoted players will catch it to complete their museum and critterpedia. If you manage to snag two, you can also sell it for a pretty penny to the Nook brothers. Goodness knows why they buy anything you put in front of them. <laughs> The king of all critters and among the hardest to catch, the tarantula is pretty much on par with the scorpion when it comes to difficulty and rarity. Although it doesn't quite fetch the same price as the giraffe stag or golden stag, it's still an immensely valuable bug. Look for it in the evenings on your island. Another super rare bug in the form of a beetle is the golden stag. 
Basically, it has a slightly gilded exterior which accords it a unique look and name. This bug is so rare that many have not even realized it has made it to New Horizons as one of the most expensive species. The golden stag can be caught on palm trees in the hottest months. <laughs> The scorpion is one of those critters that will move quickly and actually chase after the player if they get too close to it, making it immensely difficult to catch. Usually active at nighttime and in the evening, it's a rare but very satisfying catch to make. The scorpion, when attacking the player, will disappear and cause the player to teleport home. However, lucky and skilled players will be able to catch it quickly and sell it at Nook's Cranny. Dragonflies are pretty small when they fly around your island, so it can occasionally be hard to tell one from another. You'll know you've got a banded dragonfly on your hands when you chase it for five minutes and still don't manage to catch it. You'll need to sprint and stop pretty suddenly to try to grab when it stops to hover, and it might take a little while. Thankfully, these don't disappear when you swipe at them like some other bugs. You can chase it all over the map until you get your chance to nab it. These guys are crazy fast, making them a really satisfying catch once you pull it off. Many players may have seen this butterfly flutter around their island simply because of its massive size. Queen Alexandra's birdwing is a green and slightly turquoise butterfly, which is fairly slow-moving and easy to catch. That being said, its appearance is somewhat rare. When you do see it, it'll be around the island during the daytime. It fetches a nice, though not exorbitant, price. <laughs> Thank you.